Hello, Desperation Church family. Welcome to day 10 of 21 days of prayer and fasting. My name's Lisa, and our focus for today's prayer and fasting is our pastors and our staff and their families. So one of the things that I got an opportunity to talk to a couple of our pastors about today is how would you like to have people pray for you? And you know what? It was the same kind of things that we would want people to pray for us. And can I just tell you how much your pastors and your church staff love you, Desperation Church, so, so much. They are always praying for you, interceding for you. They're just crazy about you. And today we have an opportunity to pray for them and their families. So one of the pastors told me when I asked, you know, how would you like for people to pray for you the most? He said, for my family. You know, don't you love it when people tell you that they're praying for you? And you love it even more when you know that they're praying for the people that you love. One of the other pastors who I talked to told me that he'd love for people to pray for him for things like friendship, um, covering over his mind, you know, protection against spiritual warfare. So those are all things that we want people to pray for us as well. So my scripture for today is gonna to come from number six, 22 through 26. Then the Lord said to Moses, tell Aaron and his sons to bless the people of Israel with this special blessing. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. We got familiar with that this past year through the worship song, The Blessing. I was gonna sing it for y'all today, but you can see my keyboard player didn't show up, so. Just kidding, I would make your ears bleed. But that is known as the priestly blessing. But do you know that those same words are applicable today? And we can pray that blessing over our pastors, our staff, and their families, just like they speak those blessings over us. And one of the other scriptures I wanted to share with you comes from Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10. And Nehemiah continued, Go and celebrate with a feast of rich foods and sweet drinks and share gifts of food with people who have nothing prepared. This is a sacred day before our Lord. Don't be dejected and sad, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. I wanted to use that scripture because I wanted to ask y'all to bring lots of food and drinks. No, I'm totally kidding. We're fasting. We don't want food and drinks. But the joy of the Lord really is our strength. So one of our prayer focuses today can be for joy, supernatural joy for our staff and for their families because the joy of the Lord is our strength. So what I wanna ask you to focus on as you're praying today is to think about the things that you want people to pray for you and the people that you love. We can pray for good health, for provision in every aspect. We of course want to pray um, for vision for our pastors and our staff, for wisdom and discernment. We wanna pray the same things that they prayed in Numbers. We wanna pray for favor. You know that it takes all of us to advance the kingdom. So we want our pastors and our staff to have favor, not only with the Lord, but with people who can come alongside us and join us in reaching the world. We wanna bless our pastors, our staff and their families with peace. And anything else that you can think of that you want people to pray for you and your family, I know that you hear from the Lord Desperation Church. We love you. Thank you for praying with and for us today.